A storm. Right. I mean, we've got to put some positives to talk about tonight. I mean, uh, over the last kind of few weeks, we were, we're scratching our heads, sort of asking where it's gone wrong, but solid turnaround um, this month. Yeah, definitely. I think we've definitely been better this month. And I think a lot of people, if you if you said to them on Christmas Day, oh, by the way, we'll get four points out in the next two games, they'd have gone, a draw at Chelsea, really? Because, mm. <laughs> you know, you'd think maybe this was the game we were guaranteed to win, but... No, that, I think we could have won this quite easily, but obviously we didn't. We struggled to break them down the first half. They were very compact defensively, very physical as well. Argument for possibly uh, two yellow cards for Mili Vojevic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Mili Vojevic. We, we all struggle. We all struggle with that. Yeah, I think, no. he, I think he was quite lucky not to see red for that. I think it was a challenge on the edge yeah. of the area on, I want to say, Buffal. Not quite sure, but it was on the um, edge of the 16, 16. Was it Redmond? Okay. I mean, to be honest, you know, pushing in that last sort of 20, 30 minutes when we introduced Gineppo and Buffal was turning all that, all, turning the tap on with the trickery as well. And, uh, you know, we introduced Stuart Armstrong to kind of ease it up a little bit, but they were quite cynical and very lucky not to get away with, uh, you know, red cards. Yeah, they were quite cynical. I mean, there was a challenge made on Gineppo that had that been, had it not been for the presence of, I think, about four Crystal Palace players in front of Gineppo would have been a red card red card straight away I think I mean even then it was seemed excessive the way he went in was excessive seemed like two footed probably ground through a red card regardless mm. that's why VAR didn't look at it maybe it's because he was given the yellow yeah. who knows but there were lots of little little fouls in that game obviously Hoiberg at this first 10-15 minutes managed to lose half his shirt yeah, oh yeah indeed I mean apparently they're authentic shirts but I don't know maybe he picks up bootlegger on the on the on the on the market down the road but hey you know one point tonight uh, and we're I think quite comfortably now out the bottom three although Watford won 3-0 today and Aston Villa they're, they're, they're down there yeah I mean it's quite a cushion now yeah it is quite the cushion obviously it would have been nice to have two more points and stayed above Brighton but we're definitely getting back into not winning ways but back into the centre of the table where I think we deserve to be whether or not how, how that will change after the after the January transfer window if Hasn't it was going to bring in extra extra strength in positions you know mm. who would he bring in where are you going to bring them in lots of different options and lots of different places to look at I'll be feeling positive though moving forward yeah I think we are feeling positive moving forward just about <laughs> thanks Tom